are live. Hey guys, how's it going? Um, this is Covenant Cannon. Um, for those of you who are new to the channel, um, this is one of my monthly Q and A sessions, um, where I basically um, share all my uh, share all the questions that were given in the Discord server for Covenant Cannon. If you guys don't know where that is, look in the description box below and ask your questions and just hang out time with the Covenant Cannon crew. Um, but for now, I'm going to be listing, I'm going to be bringing off some questions while playing some Infection. Um, the reason for that is because um, lately playing campaign has been a bit stale lately, and I thought mixing up it might be, would, would be a nice change of pace. And plus, I haven't really played much Infection, and I thought now's a good time as any. All right, so before I do that, I'm just going to pop up two things that I need. Okay. Let's start. And also, um, if you guys haven't seen my Discord uh, news announcements thing, um, there's been a bit of connection issue I've had lately with my internet. Um, so if there's any lag or any connection problems, please let me know in the chat, just so... I can deal with it for next time. I hope I hope it won't be needed, but just in case, I would like to get some feedback. Um, but without further ado, let me start the questions. And here's the first question comes from Daniel one one zero, and he asks, "Could it be possible for a Johanai pack to have both Veilot and Wutal broods within the same pack?" Um, it's possible. Uh, I mean, the Covenant did have that has similar thing going with um, their Jirohanai pack structure, I believe. Um, I do believe in one um, evolution stor short story, it did had um, it did had a mixture of both Rutal and Veloth brutes that were hashing it out a little bit. Um, but I think definitely the Banish could have a mixture of both Veloth and Rutals. Oh! Hey! I'm a freaking... I'm an infected Irritus guy. Hey, there we go. Round one. It's all up to you now. Alright. Oh. Oh, jeez. Oh! Okay, there's some lag. You fight with the skill of a embryo. Oh, wow. That's freaking harsh, Irritus. Jeez. Oh, jeez. I suck. Okay, next question. Um, Bed and Breakfast ask, did any Elite Colony Worlds align themselves with the Banished, or were Elites present in the Banished ranks just unaffiliated mercenaries um, and Rogue Fleet crew members? We control. Um, I think it's possible that that certain out like a good amount of St. Healy ally colony worlds could align with the Banished. I think it's less likely. Um, there are... There is a possibility for St. Healy to not be mercenaries or pirates that could join up with, with uh, Atriox. It's definitely possible. Um... I do believe there are a certain amount of elites that have joined up with Atriox that aren't mercenaries, per se. I believe, um... Oh, what's his name? He's one of the bosses in Halo... Oh, jeez, there's some lag here. <laughs> oh, jeez. I'm teleporting all over the place right now. Um, I do believe that there could be, um... Oh, what's his name? Oh, I can't think of anything, but he's the one that killed um, Uze Taham's dad. Um, I can't remember the name on the top of my head right now. Oh my god, there's so much lag. That's probably me because of my really crappy connection. Oh. Good on me there. Oh, and now I fell on the ground. Great, lovely. Oh. oh! Oh! No! 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 Oh! Wow! 
Well, I, I just suck there. But yeah, I think that's the best answer I can give you? Question mark? Oh, yes, or Crow Vagadoon. Thank you, Eldwin. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh. Thank you. Yeah, I think Orcro was um, not a mercenary nor a pirate, per se. Oh, jeez, that guy was right next to me. Um, but I think he was a part of, like a, of a dissonant group that weren't that weren't happy with the prophets and all that, and the the covenant pretty much destroyed their group. Oh, jeez, that was terrible. Part. Um, oh, what, what was I gonna say? But yeah, I think I think. Um, oh my god, I'm s there's so much lag on me. I'm gonna have to look at my internet connection. Half of one minute is all that stands before victory. Come on. Oh, Jesus. Um, yeah, I think that's the best answer I can give you right there, Ben Bruckus. Okay, another question from Daniel. He asks, do you have an opinion about Mergvol and his Covenant faction from Halo Spartan Assault? Um, good question. Do I have a, an opinion of him? Um, I think they were, they were interesting enough, because they did had, um, Jiro Hanai in their group, and all that but aside from that there's not really much no there's not really much else we know about them beyond the simple they are covenant group that broke off from oh jeez like beyond the simple they were a rogue covenant faction oh jeez oh, wow i suck Um, I mean, I, I there is one thing I am very interested about is um, one thing I am interested in with Mergvol is that he seems to be of the same clan as Parkvol from Spartan Ops. Whether or not that is true or not, I do not know. I don't know if he's like his brother, his cousin, or something like that. Um... Though I do believe in, in um, one of the MCC tags labels uh, Merg and Parg as um, brothers. Whether or not that is canonically accurate or not, I don't, I can't say. Really. That is the one thing I am very interested in about, about um, Merg, Vol at, at time. But at the moment, I... <sighs> I really can't say um, more about, like, my opinion on him. Because there's really not much else we know about this guy. Oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I'll be back to you in a moment. I just got... Okay, there we go. Oh, why am I on the ground? Oh. Oh, jeez. Get away, you're just guy. Oh! Just... Oh! Oh! Oh, that was definitely some squeaky bum cheek time. Oh! No! Oh. oh, well, that was terrible on my part. Okay, so... Okay, so we got another question. Um, from... I think this is Discount Zeno, I believe it is. Um... To Vodar, after knowing the dark past of Insulant Gadugai, um, that got me thinking, what if Gadugai killed the Marshal in retaliation for killing his family and escaped successfully with his secret love, Obelisi? Um, if Insulant actually did take care of the, of the Marshal and... What did he just say? I don't know. But back to the question. If Insulant killed the Marshal and um, the person he chose to marry off, Obelisi, 
I do believe he could he definitely would have been a different person. He def I think he could have been Kaidon of his of his state as he originally intended to be. Um Okay, okay. I'm going from that. Oh, oh. Play some more action. Um He definitely I definitely think he would have been a, a different person. He def I think he could have died on uh on Cyclone Call, because for those of you who don't haven't read Legacy, uh, Legacy, well, not Legacy of Onyx, Ghost of Onyx, um, that plan blew up because of a Havoc nuke. Oh, Nova Bomb, not Havoc nuke. But yeah, I think, but back, back to, uh, the question, I do think he would have been completely different from the person we know now. So, we got another question from Daniel, who, who asked, Which moment of all of Halo are the most terrifying to you? Good question. I think the most terrifying thing from Halo, for me, was the introduction of the Flood. Because back in the day, when I saw the Flood, I was actually a little terrified of them, to be honest with you. Um... <clears throat> I think the other thing that, the other moment that kind of got me scared was when all those scientists got composed, um, in Halo 4. Especially that scientist we were talking to, I forget her name, um, like, seeing their actual skeletons, like, disintegrate before our eyes, that, that was a little concern, concerning, to say the least. It's us against the whole. Okay, while waiting, let me just see. Oh, jeez. What? Why did I just fell? Oh my god, this lag is terrible right now. Okay. I think being here is probably the best option for me at the time. Wait, is this... Oh, that's... Quantum translate? No, I'm not doing that. Um. Oh, the lag is terrible right now. Oh no! I can't believe I just infected myself for the most stupidest thing ever in the world. Okay, um, Daniel asks another question, which is, which of your favorite Halo missions, which are your favorite Halo missions to play in Halo games that comes to your mind right now? Um, the Arbiter missions from Halo 2, um, the St. Helios missions from Halo 5, for obvious reasons. Um, what else? Alright, I'm done with this guy. This guy is just not going freaking back down. Hold on a minute. Nope. Oh, oh my god, this lag, man. Oh, man. It's teleporting me all over the place right now. It's getting annoying now. Thinking about rethinking the strategy here. Only 30 seconds. Claim them all for me. <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. I got a few kills there. That did the work. Um, and I think. Oh, there we go. Got got that guy. Oh. Oh, come on! Really? 
Oh, jeez. Okay, and I think that's enough for that one. Um, let me just move on to another question, which is from from Daniel again. Um, oh, how did I just get infected? Literally. Okay, what activities do you like to do on a daily basis? Nor did I get get the right to get freaking oh stupid Clifford dude. Stupid. Yeah, those lag, man. I'm really annoyed by it. Got this one. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on! Um, to answer your question, Daniel, I think the the stuff I like to do on a daily basis is um working out, um working on videos, um and just pretty much relaxing. I'm it's pretty much I'm pretty much really basic when it comes to just general stuff. Oh, come on. How did I not kill you? I literally just stabbed you. But yeah, there, there's really nothing much, Daniel, that I generally do for activity-wise. Um, I do like to run, run, uh, a little bit. But I haven't done that most often. So, oh, jeez, more of these, oh my. And these guys need to get off that freaking cliff. Oh my god, I can't even move without these guys shooting me. Oh. Have they me with an army of the weak? <sighs> okay, hold on, let me just pause so I can scroll on down for more questions. Okay, so we got another one from Defiant Zeno who asked to Kaidon Vodar since not all the banished clans went to Zeta Halo. Who are these clans, and if possible, if they found Irritus' location? Um, I don't know if we have any Banish clan that we know of that has not gone to the, to, um, to say Halo with, uh, Aatrox and Eshram. Not to the top of my head, I do know that there are several that have. They could... They, Eritus could have um, revealed, could locate. Some of them could have located Eritus, um, probably at some point, given all the infection sprees he's doing right now, and infection right now. Um, it's not, I wouldn't say it's impossible to say that some of these clans could locate Eritus. Oh, no, no, no! <sighs> that was bad on my part. Okay, and another question from Zeno is, what... Why am I doing so bad? <sighs> I move back and I freaking get off a cliff. Oh my... Okay, so... Zeno asked, and what what was your reaction when you found out that, in, that in Halo Infinite that all the skimmers are female, making the first female enemy to fight in a game? Oh, the skirmisher! Okay, hold on, let me let me read this that one. Oh, jeez, come on! I can't even read our question right now. Okay, and what was your reaction when you found out that in Halo Infinite all the skirmishers are female, making them the first female enemies to fight in a Halo game? Um. Oh, why? That was a lag. That wasn't even my fault. Oh my god! Stupid lag, man. Um, I was very surprised when I actually learned out. The when I found out that um, the skirmishers were fe were all female, it was very, it was very, uh, I wasn't really expecting it, really, to be honest with you. 
Uh, oh my god, if this lag kills me, I'm gonna freaking get mad. No, 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 you're not gonna get me. You're not gonna get me. I'm gonna go up that thing, and I'm not gonna get infected. Come on. Come on. Come on! There we go. What? How am I on the ground? You saw that, right, guys? Please, please tell me you guys seen that, that. That I was on the mountaintop, but I was freaking lagged out of it on the ground. That was such bullshit if ever I saw one. Where are they? Oh, come on, come on. Oh, there we go. Rogue AI. No respect for protocol. Oh, that's what he said. Oh my god. <laughs> Daniel, it's very tempting to go back to campaign right now at this time. But I think I'm done with infection, because infection is just being very stupid at the moment. I'll just play some BTB Unlimited. Besides, I want to play some Scar a little bit. I haven't played that map at all lately. Okay. So, um, but back to your, back to the question, uh, Zeno. Um, I was very surprised when I learned that the skirmishers were all females. I don't think that's, we've ever had female Kid Yar in game. Um, so it was very, very surprising to hear all the Kid Yar war females. Or the skirmishers, I mean. And I thought that was another reason for me to like Infinite, really, for, as, for campaign reasons. Okay, so we got another question from Zeno here. Um, Nakai, are there any other banished human factions that are in the banished besides the Order of Harmony? Uh, no. I don't think there is. I think the Order of Harmony is the only human faction that are affiliated with the banished right now. Um... There could be some human mercenaries that have signed up a contract with the Banished, but beyond that, I think the only um, the only human faction in the, the Banished is the or Har is the Order of Harmony. Oh, and here's Scar. Here we go. Ooh, I still want to know what the heck those floating things are. Those are, those things look cool. Not gonna lie. Alright, before it starts, uh, do you think they sh- oh, hold on. Uh, yes. The key, the skirmishers are all females, at least in Halo Infinite. I'm not saying that all of them are infected, or- well, not infected, why did I say infected? Not all of them are, uh, skirmish- not all the skirmishers are female, um, in, like, say, Reach or any other ancillary material right now. Oh, hold on. Oh. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Is that chaos right now? This is a really nice map, by the way. I'm gonna like what I'm saying thus far. Oh! Okay, Ben Berkus asks, uh, do you think they should make an expansion of the events of the Sword St. Helios invasion of Hesteros in 2557? Um, I don't believe they ever did that. I think they, uh, I think the Sword St. Helios invaded Hesteros, um, I think they invaded Hesteros at some point before, um, before the assault on Sunion. I think that was when they they attacked Hestoro shortly before that, I think. But don't quote me on that. I, I'm not aware of like the full date and time of all that. Oh! Jeez. Um, his 
his other question is, do you think they should give more context on how the Blooding Years was on St. Helios actually, how, uh, hold on, let me redo this one. Do you think they should give more context on how the Blooding Years on St. Helios actually went down over the course of those five or so years that the servants were still actively a threat on St. Helios? Um, I, I do believe, yes and no. Yes, I do believe that the that the blooding year should be resolved more thoroughly. Um, how it actually went down over the course of um, how the Kilo Five books had it. But, however, after the events of the Siege of Kolar, oh jeez, after the Siege of Kolar, oh, just lag. Okay, I'm... There we go. There we go. That makes me better. Okay. Um, what was I about to say? But since the Siege of Kolar, the, the servants haven't really been much of a threat to the swords thus far. The only real threat the swords have really faced was Jewel and Dama's Covenant. But I would like to see... Oh, Come on! Okay, now let's do some needling action, shall we? It's time for them to face the pink mist of death. Oh, this lag, man, come on. Okay. Um, but yeah, I do think that they should flush out the Blooding Years more in terms of, uh, context-wise. Um, hopefully we might be able to do that in, uh, hopefully we might be able to do that with Halo, with, uh, Halo Outcast. I'm not so certain, however. About other things, not, not Escalation, not, or not Escalation, I mean, not outcast being able to do so i think they can do it but i think okay it's time to do some flinging Ooh! what ha what that was bullshit and i am gonna say that right now that was absolute and utter bullshit yeah, unstable jitter. No shit. See, no, there's the jitter again. Oh my gosh. Jitter, man. Okay. Um, and his next question is Ben Breck. Ben Breck's next question is, what do you think would have happened to Saint Helios if the servants of the Abiding Truth de defrated, uh, defeated the servants of Saint Helios at the Siege of Kolar? Considering Telkin didn't want to just take over Saint Helios. From your spell in there, Ben Breakfast, I'm not really sure what your message is there, what, what the question is actually. Um, but in terms of what would happen if the sword, if the servants, if the servants had taken over St. Helios, or won the Siege of Kolar, it would have been a very different St. Helios. Um, I think... The, the treaty between the St. Helios and the UNSC would have been dissolved. St. Helios would have been more of an independent colony, more of an uncertain future. What? How did I die? How? Oh my god, the 
It's jitter, man. It's jumping all over the damn place right now. But yeah, it would have... St. Helios would have been a completely different place right now. Question Ben Breakfast. Saying Helios would have been a different, completely different place had the servants won the war. If that's what you're mean to the, you, the if that's what your question applies. Jeez. Oh, this is gonna be interesting, isn't it? Oh. Oh, why did he just tell- why is he teleporting me? Yeah, yeah guys, this internet connection is absolutely- is absolutely ridiculous right now, and I'm really getting having a hard time right now. Oh! Jeez! Okay, moving on to Daniel's question. Uh, if you could make any a story using the Covenant Remnant faction, what which one would you use besides the Banished? Um, if I could make a Covenant Remnant story beside the Banished, um, I think I would make one with the Sword of St. Helios, because... Like said in the previous couple questions earlier, uh, we don't really know much about them. We don't really know much of what's going on with them uh, during the flooding years. We don't know. We don't really generally know their. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. No, no, no. You get away from me. No. Stay away. Oh, here we go. Oh! Jeez. Oh my god, everyone's wreaking chaos right now. It's crazy right now. Uh. What? Okay. Um. Yeah, the short thing, Helios. Um, I wouldn't. No. Boo. Oh, boo. Um, but I would like to see more stories regarding, uh, regarding the swords, their history, um, how they're doing right now, what they're up to right now. Um, like, do more stories on Merv Bull's Covenant. Um, what else? No, I think that's about it in terms of Covenant Remnant faction stories. Um, like I said, I would like to see more of what's going on with the Bloody Years. Um, that would definitely make a good story. Um, but aside from that, I can't really think of anything else. Okay, okay so <laughs> here we go from Supreme Commander Cam and Alamali, which I'm I'm just gonna say right there. I don't care if it's I don't care if that's not right, I'm just gonna, that's how I'm gonna say it from now on. And he has a bunch of more questions, as is tradition. Okay. Subspace seems to have a dimension of its own. Do we have any idea what could lurk in there? Uh, no idea. Your, your question is as good as mine on that account. Um, it could be the Endless. I mean, the Encyclopedia has made a mention that some Endless have, um, escaped the, the forerunner prosecution against them, so it could be them. So, it's definitely possible. But beyond that, I have no idea. 
Okay, his next question is, would you like to see Knuckle Buster utilizing the Gravity Hammer tech being used by the by the Brutes? Knuckle Duster? Sorry, I have no idea what that is, but sure, I guess? Take down your targets quickly. Alright. This next question comes from... Why did they blurt out the thing? Hold on. Who is this? Comes from someone named A. Sorry, but I'm just... I'm sorry if I... It, it, it's not showing your full name there, my man. Um, but his question is... This question is based off on a proposed family tree lineage chart by a friend of mine. Is it possible that the Forerunners are part of the primate, primate family and are related to other primates across the universe? I mean... Could be? Could be. I mean, the Forerunners... The Forerunners were the dominant race in the galaxy at the time, so I wouldn't put it past that. Um, they're not the precursors, so... But I think it's possible. WHY AM I HERE?! This damn lag has just, just got me into a peep of lava. Oh my god. Freaking connection, man. Sorry if I'm going to be complaining about this, but it's so annoying at the moment right now. Okay. Oh, 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 jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh. Um, but yeah, uh, hey, that's probably the best answer I can give you on that, my man. Okay, Supreme Commander asks, Would you like to see more St. Healy close combat weapons, like blunt weapons, power fists, etc.? Sure. I mean, I, w I would be not, it would be not be neat to see us playing with, um, a curved blade or a burn blade. It'd be very interesting to see that. Alright, so Zeno ask. Um Active cabal available. Zeno ask, is War is Tish and Warriel the only two moons that left that survived the destruction of Doisak? Um <laughs> Survive is a very strong is a very right. gentle word. I think they've haven't been completely destroyed. I wouldn't say they were uh they weren't, they didn't survive, they were completely ravaged by the raising of Osonin. Um, but they're, I definitely would say that they're like uninhabitable or incapable of supporting life at the moment right now. And if they, and if it is, it would be very hazardous at the moment. But at the moment, I don't think anything in the Osonin system survived that, uh, the destruction from the Guardians. Wheels on route. Oh. Hang on. Where? Oh. Where's the vehicle? What? Why did it teleport me? Idiot! Why did you do that? Oh, you deserve to blow up. You deserve that for being an idiot there. Okay, so... Daniel110 asks, What's your relationship with Transformers as a whole? Uh, Transformers, I actually generally like the series. I think the Bay films were... Are, an, are a defilement of it, and why am I- <sighs> By 
back to the question. <laughs> I do enjoy the Transformer films. The Bay films have been a... It's just been a clusterfuck, to be honest with you. Aside from, like, the first film and the third film, in my opinion. Um, but... As for the rest... Um, I do like Bumblebee. The Bumblebee films were great. Uh, Rise of the Beast was honestly, was fantastic as well, in my opinion. Um... Oh, gee... Oh. I'm not even blaming that lag. That was just me being shit. Um... Another one down. But... Rise of the Beast was awesome. Um... As well... Um... I do like Transformers Prime. Some of the newer cartoons have been a bit eh to me. In my opinion, no other Transformer uh, animated show has been good as Prime, in my opinion. But yeah. Okay, so Daniel asks, which species do we know for a certain formed a part of Jewel and Dama's Covenant at some point? Um, because in Spartan Strike, we see drones and brutes as part of the faction, but I don't know if there's, if that's just something of the simulation. Um, no, I do believe, um, we do have brutes and drones in Jewel and Donna's Covenant. Um, but, in terms, oh, jeez, but in terms of broader um, usage for the Brutes and the Drones in Jewel and Dama's Covenant? I can't say, but we do know that the Brutes and uh, Drones have been a part of the group. I think as, like, their own little... Why did I just get betrayed? Why did I just get betrayed? But yeah, those, those groups have probably been, like, like very rare and small packs or hive groups or something like that. Alright, so... Supreme Commander asks, How does Vodar Keep see the Dazreem? Are they aware of them? Uh, no. They're not aware of the Dazreem at all. So, as far as they know, the Dazreem are myth or legend or something like that. They don't really see them in any any light. Anything significant at least. So yeah. Okay, let me just scroll on down. Okay. So Zeno asks, is it possible that other banished AIs exist now that we know that it's canon and is it possible if we see different species of AIs, like Ungoid, KKR, and hell, even more variant brute AIs? Um, to answer your question there, Zeno, um, actually, Irtis is the only banished AI that exists in, in the group. Um, but with, um, Lux Falspuda making more, making him, I, I wouldn't Put it past that they could make other AIs from elites, group, uh, grunts, jackals, and other sort of that kind. Um, I wouldn't put past that they could make it, um, but at the moment it's a little up in the air right now. <clears throat> oh, jeez. This cheddar. Okay, so Supreme Commander asks, how good would the let go low worms be in regards of spying? I would imagine you'd imagine they be used on front by spies because they're worms. You'd think they would borrow beneath the surface, eavesdrop on the enemy, and gain vital in intel. Um 
when you think about it, would would they make better ambushers and surprise attackers if with this in mind? Um, yeah. I mean, the, the like Dola could make use come make use of spies, but pr early in the war though, that would probably be useful early in the war. Um, but say for example in 2552, probably not because the UNSC probably would would have developed. Um, a, they would have made like some sort of countermeasure against the flood, or not the flood, the let go low. I mean, and they could make good ambushers, like on ships, like what we what we saw from um, the TV show. Um, and who knows? They might they might as well have been that, as well as tech drivers and stuff like that. Alright. Let's play another game. Ooh, excuse me. Alright, moving on to another question. Brutus, let us ask, how good of a Sevatar would would a let go low be? Um they'd probably be pretty good, cause they are cause they've been ver they've been known to infiltrate tech systems. Um especially if the Thanos let go low were uh or brought into play, they would have made great sub They would have, they would have consumed all technology if they were unleashed on a ship or a base or something like that. Um, but it's just supposition at this point. But I don't. Know. Okay, so Supreme Commander asks: Were were Covenant commanders given tactical freedom, or were they forced to stay? in the wave tactics we had in World War One. I. Um, I think Covenant Commanders did had were more or less were more laxed in their tactical strategies. Um, it's just most Covenant Commanders prefer usual traditional tactics. Um, Fel Vadimi, on the other hand, wasn't one of those people. He was very unpredictable, and it actually gave him much acclaim throughout the Covenant before the events of uh, Halo CE, and pretty much his fall from from uh, Supreme Commander to Arbiter. Okay, so Supreme Commander asks, do we know any Covenant weapons that resemble in function to a flame floor? Like in Cingiary Gels, in a sense, um, what would such weapon look like? What units would have archaic weaponry? We use such an archaic weaponry. Um, as far as I know, the only thing, the only, uh, <laughs> and I got teleported. Freaking. <sighs> the only, uh, the only technology I could see that could resemble a flame floor would probably be. Oh, jeez! Oh, jeez! There's a wasp. There's a wasp. the only covenant weaponry they could use for um as a flame for it they modified a focus rifle and use incendiary gels kind of like how um the banish did with um in uh awakening and nightmare with uh vortus's group um that could be used potentially as a flame flower but beyond that, and what units? Probably brutes, because they are probably the most unsuitable races within the Covenant that could use it. Maybe kick your some maybe some kick your scouts or something along those lines. Raiders maybe. But uh, that that that's just a guess on my part. 
Hang on, let me take care of this guy. I'm the one with a with a scrapper. Oh, nope, no, I'm not. <sighs> okay, Supreme Commander asks, do we have a Sword Saint Helios equivalent to to of the Infinity where Spartans serve upon too? I think the only the only uh, ship that could even be close to the Infinity by even a little bit. Uh, the Shadow of Intent, and we don't really know what's going on with them, because we do, but we do know that the Shadow of Intent does have training facility, training simulations, kind of like how the Infinity does it. Um, that is the only ship at, at the time we do know that the Sword Saint Helios have that could be considered a equivalent to the Infinity. Before I go on, more questions, let me see, let me see if I can. Oh, jeez, jeez! The slag! Jeez! just got killed. That was ridiculous, and I know what you guys saw that too. And before you guys ask, yes, I will complain about it, because that was absolute, completely our bullshit. Alright, let's see if I can get in this chopper. Haha, <laughs> my chopper, fuck you. Skewers. Okay, Supreme Commander asks, how good is the Covenant teleportation technology? How widely is it still used in post-Covenant era? Um, I really can't tell you. I have no clue how how the teleporting is in terms of efficiency um, compared to like Forerunner tech. And uh, I can only guess that it's Probably still used after the Covenant fell? Question mark? Okay, hold on. Let me just scroll on down so I can answer some more questions. Okay, Spring Commander asks, uh, what sci-fi franchise would be a great mix for Halo? Um, maybe the... I think the Expanse, honestly. The Expanse is like... The closest thing we've seen to a Halo is closest to Halo, in my opinion, because the Belters and all those terrorist groups are very reminiscent to that of the Insurrectionist from uh, the Halo series. Um, in terms, like, honestly, if, like, say, if the Covenant invaded was teleported to the World of the Expanse, I would say the, they would be absolutely screwed. Yeah. No! <sighs> Ignore that. <laughs> but yeah, I think, I think the Expanse would be a great fit for Halo. Okay. 
Okay, Supreme Commander ask, do you think the Covenant weapons such as the plasma rifle would be great for modularity? Modularity? Like giving it an aim point type of an slight sight? Yeah, I, I don't know if you're referring to if, if you think they should get a scope or stuff like that. If the case, it would be a very it would be a very interesting touch to have for a plasma rifle. Um, they could. I mean, it could be could be useful for that. Oh, jeez. I'm so focused on reading questions, I'm not paying attention to all these enemies popping up. I'm so sorry if I'm doing so bad right now. <laughs> oh, and, and great, I got only, like, pistols. Oh. Oh, this lag. Okay. Alright, moving on to another question. Uh, Daniel asks, what current mysteries of Halo lore would you like to see solved? Um, I think the one mystery thing I would like to see solved- WHAT?! Oh, well, that you decide to throw! some of these further questions. I think I'm just going to play infection and answer the last question. I think that'll be done for it. Um, but yeah, I think the, that ship that we've seen in Halo CEA, CEA's terminals, I would like to see what that mysterious ship contained. If it was like some post, if that was some pre-covenant race, um, if that was like some race we have never seen before. I would like to see that resolved, or something like that. But yeah. Okay, so some Chi as like an EVA helmet as a as their uh, profile pic. It doesn't show me your full name, so I apologize for that. Um, what the hell happened to Team Katana in, from Ghost of Onyx? Um, I have no idea. Your, your guess is as good as mine, my friend. I, I haven't really read Ghost of Onyx in a while now, so I'm kind of blank on that, so sorry. Okay. Oh, hey, the Halo guy. Hey, how's it going, man? I, I just saw your, your comment there. Sorry if it took me a while there. <laughs> oh, man, I'm... So sorry about that. I didn't even. I just noticed your your popping up like forty five minutes late. <laughs> forty five minutes. I'm freaking focused on answering my Discord questions. I didn't even notice you popping up. Sorry about that, my guy. Uh, I'm doing. How are you doing, man? I hope, I hope you're doing good. Okay. So moving on to other questions from Supreme Commander. Uh, how could we solve the current infestation of, how could we solve this current infestation of nothing but demons running about, getting all the spotlight and glory? Oh, if we can get her up, get more St. Healy. Um, <laughs> honestly, I, I honestly can't tell you, man. I, I, I really want there to be more, more St. Healy and, uh, other non-Spartan enemies are not, uh, what am, I, what am I saying? What am I trying to say? What am I trying to say? Oh, I, oh, it's like the pallets. Oh, why did I just get teleport down? Jeez. I'm 
going to venture forth into the outside world now. Okay. Um, yeah, I, Command, Supreme Commander, I have no idea. Like, I want there to be playable leads in games for a while now, but honestly, I think that the chances of that happening are probably dim at the moment right now. Oh! Jeez! Jeez! Scare the crap out of me! Oh! Alright, I'm going for it. Uh. Okay, there we go. Oh no! No, 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 no! You get away from me! Alright, moving on to another question. Do you think... Do you think now that the Covenant has been dissolved, factions like the Sword St. Helios could consider utilizing AIs and robots? Um, no. To be plain, to be blunt, no. I don't believe that. Because that the Sword St. Helios would resolve to, um... Would resolve to use AIs at the moment. I, I honestly don't... They never use... They never really use AIs... Um, in the Covenant, and I highly doubt they would now, considering the fact of everything that's going on with Cortana and the creative situation. Um, if anything, it will just make, make them, if, if anything, it will make them more confident not to use it. Where, where is it? Supreme Commander Rask, UNSCU seems to have adapted and copied many technological things from the Covenant. Do you... Do the Covenant Remnants copy anything from the UNSC? I mean, I wouldn't say copy, but I do know that um, certain Covenant uh, um, terrorists, such as uh, Park Vol, have stolen UNSC armaments and technology. Um, I don't... Whether or not they've copied them, per se, I can't say. But... But they could... Um, but they could use them as some, like, terrorist attack usage to frame, like, the UNSE on, like, uh, places like Venezia or Gao. It's definitely possible. I wouldn't put that past the Covenant Remnants to so Discord so that they could meet their goals differently, but apart from that, I can't say. Okay, Supreme Commander asks, uh, did the Covenant have any Inquisitor-type of units that would specifically crack down on heretics and suspicious individuals? If we don't count the Arbiters, did the Silent Shadows fit this mold? Um, yeah, I would say so. I would say they, they, they would fill that off at that that area I would say. They would probably fit in that category. Um Oh jeez. Oh! 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 Running! 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 Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> that was terrible on my part. <laughs> That was bad. <laughs> but yeah, I, I do think the Silent Shadow would fit in that Inquisitor type role at the moment. Um, another type of enemy, I would say, would fit that category, would be um, probably the Executors, like um, that St. Healy that tried to kill Atriox in uh, the beginning of uh, Halo in the in Atrox's Origins cutscenes from Halo Wars 2. Um, they could probably fit in that category as well. Um, who else? Who else would fit that category? Um, no, 
I think that's I think that's about it. The Silent Shadow or the Executor uh, title, if there is such a title. Like that. Bam. All right, hold on. Let me scroll down for others. Okay. So we're nearing the end here. Uh, Chen asks, do Covenant races have concept of fictional story in any capacity? What do we know if they have entertainments like novels, movies, dramas, and what would Nakai's favorite novel, movie, or story be in general? Um, I don't know if they, I don't know if they have any shows or movies or stuff, stuff like that, but I do know they have like stories and tales kind of like myth, mythical legends like uh, the Ballad of Keldar Song and their mythologies. I think if Nakai would have any favorites like that, I would say probably the Ballad of Keldar Song would probably fit in that ca category if we can call the Ballad a fictional story. Okay, Supreme Commander asks, why do you think there is so much pushback from people not wanting playable elites? I think it's just because they, they, they generally want... Why did I just... I think it's generally because they want like a simple... They just want more simple types of uh, enemy. Like, simple types. Oh my... Why? I think it just comes down to like hit rate and size because in Halo Reach, playable leads have been were much taller than regular Spartans and stuff like that. Whereas in Halo Two and Three, they were more or less the same height. I think they just want more uh, compatibility or what they did. I think they want more. Uh, they want fair footing in terms of com of combat capabilities, if that makes sense. I don't necessarily agree with it, but it's it is the way it is. Why? All right. Right. So Supreme Commander asked. Do you think this? Do you think a Saint Healy would win? Do you think a Saint Healy would win a Spartan if both of them were unarmed and unarmed? Um, if they were fighting, like say, like hand-to-hand -hand combat, yes, I would definitely say a Saint Healy would probably win. Um, if it was like a standard like wrestling match, I would definitely say. I would definitely think. I definitely would think a Saint Healy would win a fight if it was like that kind of field. But if it's like in terms of say, um, for example, kind of like, kind of like how, kind of like how Gek and uh, Thorn fought. It's kind of hard to say. Hate the new guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm just going to finish up some of these questions here, and I think that'll be it, because I'm not going to waste more time <laughs> focusing on all these stupid freaking uh, lag issues. Okay, so Supreme Commander asks, why is it that the Covenant didn't really utilize laser weaponry other than the pulse lasers on the ships? I think it's because it probably... Laser weaponry is probably more unstable to use, generally speaking. Um, but beyond that, they do utilize plasma and focus-based technology for the focus for the focus rifles. So, 
Uh, I can't really say anything beyond that. <laughs> Honestly. Okay. Uh, Supreme Commander. Here's the last question from Su Supreme Commander. Do you think the Covenant had heavily customized ships? For example, forward-facing lances on something like CCS. Um, no. I don't believe they would. Because the Sanchayun were very strict in terms of their ship building capabilities and stuff like that. I think, um, I think the Sanchayun want to be very, they want the Covenant to be heavily reliant on their approval and leadership. And I don't think they would have allowed, like, customizable ships, um, beyond their needs. So... Probably post-war might have. Post-war Covenant factions might have utilized customized ships, but in like the time of the Prophets, no. Okay, so last couple questions come from Daniel. What's your opinion on the Spartan 3 program regarding the lore? I mean, it's interesting. It's less interesting to me than the Spartan 2s and the Orion Project. Um... But, honestly, that's kind of it. I don't really have anything else to say about the Spartan 3s at the moment. Alright, so his next question is, What do you expect to see in Halo Outcast? Um, more lore on the Sword St. Helios, the Bloody Years, and what the hell Nizak Kevorosi was up to during, like, near 25 years of being marooned on Netherrop. And... Kind of interesting to see uh, what mysterious alien race uh, built all that technology on Nathorop. That what that wasn't the Forerunners, and probably wasn't the Endless either. So it must have been some, must have been probably the Ancestors, maybe? Or some Covenant faction that existed during the time of the Forerunners? Something like that? But I'm most excited to see... What, what I'm expecting to see more is fleshing out the Arbiter story more and more, like we have in previous books written by Troy Dang. Um, and I'm also expecting to see a very cool dynamic between Arbiter and, and uh, Vale, because they're an interesting pairing, and I'm very interested to see what... Um... Oh, it's about the Spartan 2! Sorry, Daniel! Uh, the Spartan 2s, uh, they were cool. Sorry, I misread. I, I thought I said 3. Sorry, Daniel. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, the Spartan, the Spartan 2s are one of my, are my favorite Spartan group in, uh, Halo in general. I, I think they're, like, the superior warriors, like, in Halo in general. The Spartan 2, the Spartan 3s are okay, the fours, eh, um, were cool. But the Spartan twos, they're, they're king, in my opinion. Okay, so moving on to Daniel's final question. Is there any alien character that you hate, besides Orcro Vagadu? <laughs> um, what alien, that's a very good question. What alien, alien character do I hate? Um, oh, the Prophet of Exquisite Devo- or, uh, is that his name? The Prophet of Exquisite Devotion, I believe that's his name was. He was the, um, he was one of, uh, Truth's, uh, stooges during, um, Broken Circle. Um, he was the one that was pretty much sadistically, uh, killing St. Hilly counselors in a gravity chamber sort of thing. And he was just so sadistic, and I, I both liked him and hate him at the same time, for pretty much his his sadistic traits. He kind of reminded me of Ramsay Bolton from, uh, from Game of Thrones. So yeah, I think that's the only alien character that I generally hate in Halo. I think, but yeah, um. It's only been like an hour and 15 minutes. Let me read, leave, read off some questions from uh, the chat here. Let me just see. Uh, oh, jeez. 
Uh, I'm just gonna call you call you by the last name. Woodwork. Um, hello there. What? What's your favorite elite armor or variant? Um, my favorite elite armor has to be the Arbiter armor, both um, during the Covenant era and Thelvadom's new Kaidon Arbiter armor. And variant, um, variant armor? I like the Silent Shadow armor. That looks pretty cool, in my opinion. And Halo Guy, once again, sorry for, uh, <laughs> for missing you there in the beginning, an hour later. <laughs> Uh, do you think it's possible Iritus was based on a brute we have already met in the established canon? Could be. Could be one of those brutes that we fought in, uh, Halo 3, like that, um, like that brute chieftain we fought at the end of the, uh, cartographer mission. Or it could be, um... could be... Oh, what's his name? Oh, I'm drawing blank right now. But it could be one of those brute cheatings we fought in Halo 3 or in ODST. It definitely could be any of those things. Um, but yeah, it's definitely, poss it's definitely possible it just could be based on a brute that we've already fought in the games. Um, probably during the Covenant War, most likely. Um, I already made a, a theory video about this last week. If you guys want to see that, go into the channel and see the latest video. And I've already theorized about that. But yeah, could be any of those things, Halo guy. Okay, let's see about... What other questions do we have? Okay, uh, Miniman. Uh, would you like to... S would you like to collab and do a drunken... Oh, oh, sorry, dude. I don't, I don't really do, like, formal collaborations unless I'm, like, I really know the guy. Sorry, man. <laughs> um, right, let me see if there's any other questions here. Okay, here's, um, the Senate. Good name. Uh, hi. Who can take more damage in Halo Infinite, the Brute or the Elites? Seeing, it, it depends on the Brute. It depends on the Brute or the Elite. Um, but in my opinion, I think Brutes take, have, can take more damage. Especially if they're like Cheatins or Berserkers, maybe? Um, but I think, in, in, to answer your question, the Senate, I do believe, um, I do believe uh, Brutes can take more damage, because they're like, much more tougher than than elite than elites are pretty much. Okay, and I think that's it. I can't say any more questions here, so I think I'm going to end it off a little bit. Um, once again, guys, thank you so much for attending. For those of you who have stayed and asked asked questions and all that, or just stay in the chat, um, I really do appreciate it. Um, if you want to have your questions asked for next time, go to the Discord channel. If you guys don't know where that is, go into the description box below and it, the link to the server will be found there. Um, and you just need to go to Q&A submissions and ask your questions. Just make sure it's appropriate, make sure it's relevant, and just, just be respectful. That's all I ask. And beyond that, just have fun in the, in the Discord channel and chat up. There's a bunch of stuff you guys can talk about. But until then, guys, uh, I will, we will conclude this Q&A today. Um, as always, if you guys like what you see, please like and subscribe for more Covenant content. Um, but until then, this is Covenant Cannon, signing off.